Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for July 10th, 2024, from the book of 2 Timothy, Saved by Grace, Called to Holiness. Previously, we heard Paul tell us as believers not to be ashamed of the gospel or of those who suffer for it. Previously, we heard Paul challenges us to be bold, to proclaim Christ, even in the face of potential hardship. This explores the nature of Christian witness, the reality of suffering for the faith, and God's empowerment to endure. So it encourages us as believers to rely on God's strength as we participate in the advancement of the gospel. So let's continue with the book of 2 Timothy. From 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. Who saved us, and called us to a holy calling, not because of works, but because of his own purpose and grace, which he gave us in Christ Jesus before the ages began. So here, Paul encapsulates the heart of the gospel and the essence of our Lutheran understanding of salvation. So let's unpack this simple verse and see how it applies for us in our day. First, Paul declares that God saved us. This is not a potential salvation or a conditional one, but a completed action. As Lutherans, we affirm that our salvation is secure in Christ, not dependent on our own efforts or worthiness. As Luther himself said, faith is a living, bold trust in God's grace, so certain of God's favor that it would risk death a thousand times trusting in it. Next, Paul speaks of our holy calling. This reminds us that salvation is not just about escaping punishment, but about being set apart for God's purpose. We are called to live lives that reflect the holiness of the one who saved us. This aligns with Luther's teaching that while we are saved by faith alone, true faith is never alone, but always accompanied by good works. Paul then emphasizes that this salvation and calling are not because of our works. And this is the cornerstone of Lutheran theology, sola gratia, that is, grace alone. We cannot earn our salvation, nor can we make ourselves holy by our own efforts. As we confess in the explanation of the third article of the Apostles' Creed, I believe that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ my Lord or come to him. Instead, our salvation is based on God's own purpose and grace. It's not arbitrary or capricious, but part of God's eternal plan and is entirely gracious, a free gift we don't deserve. This grace, Paul says, was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began. Our salvation was secured in the heart and mind of God even before creation. So how does this glorious truth apply to our lives today? Well, first of all, it gives us an unshakable assurance. Our salvation doesn't depend on our performance, but on God's unchanging grace. It also motivates holy living not to earn God's favor, but out of gratitude for the favor we already have received in Christ. It shapes our witness. We can confidently share the gospel knowing it's God's power, not our persuasiveness that saves. It fosters humility. We can't boast in our salvation or holiness as both are gifts from God. 
and it provides comfort in trials. Whatever we face, we know God's purpose and grace are at work for our good. So, dear Christian friends, let us marvel at the grace of God that saved us and called us to holiness. Let us rest secure in His eternal purpose and let us respond to His gracious call with lives of joyful obedience and purposeful service. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.